as you can see, lining up ready for their first of five races across the course of the weekend with a full support program of car racing and plenty more off-track activities as well. Dave got out here taking you through the action this weekend in sunny South Wales. First of two visits this year by the British Truck Racing Championship to this venue. Grid lining up then for our first truck race of the weekend. The qualifying session took place earlier this morning. And we'll take you through the grid in pole position for Division 1 of the British Truck Racing Championship is the reigning champion going for title number 7 this year. Ryan Smith was over a second quicker than anyone else in qualifying this morning. He lines up alongside the 10 times champion number 7, Stuart Oliver in the Volvo. Second row at number 18 of John Newell lines up alongside 89 of Simon Reid in the Iveco, MAN and Iveco on the second row. Four different makes of truck in the top four places. Daimler, Volvo, MAN and Iveco. I can't remember the last time that happened. Row three, we will have uh, Stephen Powell at number three alongside 86 of Tom O'Rourke. And on row four, we should have number 81, Mark Taylor, lining up alongside the 69 of David Jenkins. Didn't have the best of runs in qualifying uh, David Jenkins in truck number 69. Currently second in the points behind Ryan Smith after the season opener at uh, Brands Hatch. Row five is number 95, Ricky Collett, alongside 46 of Bradley Smith. The sixth row, number 12, Michael Oliver, son of Stewart, starts alongside number 68, Craig Reed, and number 92, Simon Faulkner, rounds out the Division 1 grid. And then there's a gap, and we have the grid for Division 2 for the slightly less powerful trucks. It's number 32, Jock Borthwick, the Scotsman, who has set pole in uh, that division. Former champion Luke Garrett, number 42, alongside him. Second row of the Division 2 grid, number 5 of Adam Bint, alongside number 10, Craig Evans. The third row, number 14, John Bowler, alongside number 6, the Division 2 championship leader, that's of John Powell in his daft. And number 16, Brad Smith, goes from the back of the field. He had one or two problems in qualifying this morning. Hopefully we'll hear from uh, Pointy, our paddock interviewer, later on to find out uh, what happened there. That's Trucks ready and in position, slightly ahead of schedule here at uh, Pembroke. Very efficient from the uh, British Truck Racing Championship officials and the BARC, British Automobile Racing Club officials as well. A full programme of supports as well. We've got the Pickup Truck Racing Championship here. We've got uh, the Mini Challenge Trophy category, identical Mini Cooper S cars racing. A lot of uh, rising stars of saloon car racing there. And we've also got the 2CVparts.com Classic Citroen 2CV Racing Championship. Their first of two races this weekend will be uh, taking place today. Another race coming up tomorrow. 15 minutes for the trucks then. Then uh, after our lunch break, we'll have the first race for the Mini Challenge Trophy. That will be a 20-minute race. They've uh, lengthened their races to 20 minutes then it's the first race for the pickup truck racing championship and that's followed by the two cvs so the uh, official pace truck the daf in position to lead the trucks away for a rolling start if you've not seen truck racing before you have a real treat coming up these trucks weigh around five tons they're almost 1000 horsepower the uh, most powerful trucks on the grid 13 and 14 litre turbo diesel engines and the drivers fling them around almost like they're rally cars sometimes around this uh, tricky Pembray circuit. As we say it is the first of two visits to Pembray this year. Ryan Smith going for title number seven in uh, Division 1 this year in the Daimler Freightliner on pole position. Daimler chassis with a Freightliner body, a new truck for him this year alongside the uh, ten times champion Stuart Oliver, former European champion as well in his Volvo VNL. Magnificent sight they make as they head down towards Hatchet's Hairpin behind the pace truck. There's Division 2, headed up by the MANs of Jock Borthwick and uh, Ross and uh, Luke uh, Garrett, son of Ross Garrett, the former champion. Good to see Luke Garrett back. He uh, contested the European Championship last year. Sadly, he doesn't visit the UK anymore. The uh, Volvo White Aerodyne of Adam Bint on the second row. Didn't have the best of season openers at Brands Hatch. Had a few problems with the Volvo. James Pearson has already said in our YouTube comments, go team B. Oliver along 
side. John Newell, the Yorkshireman, on the second row, alongside Simon Reid in the Evico. Two more Evicos at the back. Craig Reid, last year's Division Two champion. Simon Faulkner at the back. John Borthwick and Luke Garrett at the front of Division Two. There's Adam Bintz. The Division Two uh, championship leader is John Powell, number six in his blue daff. He's back on row three. There is John Powell with the green uh, sides to his truck as they head along speedway straight down towards the rolling start. The pace truck will pull into the pit lane. Comes through Carter's curve, then into Honda corner, the end of the lap. More powerful Division One trucks at the front of the field. Of course, absolutely nothing like uh, the trucks you see on the motorway, these. Good to see Brad Smith is out at the back after one or two issues in uh, qualifying, the number 16. Number 14, John Bowler, very patriotically liveried truck. The pace truck is in pit lane. We are ready to rumble here at Pembrey Race Circuits. The race about to get underway for the British Truck Racing Championship, the first of five races this weekend, and we are underway. The power comes on, and they thunder their way down towards Hatchet's Hairpin for the first time. Ryan Smith and Stuart Oliver side by side. It's going to be Smith who takes the line, takes the lead on the run into turn one. David Jenkins trying to get up the outside, three wide into the hairpin. That's never going to work. Stephen Powell on the inside. It was uh, Tom O'Rourke, I think, in the middle. Michael Oliver has clipped the barrier on the inside in the number 12 there in uh, his MAN. Division 2 come through behind with Jock Borthwick in the lead. But apart from that momentary problem for Michael Oliver, they have all got round Hatchet's hairpin up towards Spitfires, then the left-hander at Debeni, then over the crossing, and it's Ryan Smith who's got the lead in uh, truck number one ahead of Stuart Oliver, John Newell, Simon Reid, Stephen Powell, number three, newcomer to Division 1. He's got a bit of damage already. One of the wheel arches flapping on his MAN. There's Bradley Smith, number 46, the youngest man in the championship, chased by Craig Reid, Bradley got his first podium at the season opener at Brands Hatch. We had four different winners in uh, Division 1 at the opening round. Ryan Smith uh, not as dominant as we've seen in previous years. Here comes David Jenkins attacking the number 81 of Mark Taylor. A bit of smoke out of the back of 92 of uh, Simon Faulkner there. The officials will be watching for any black smoke produced by the trucks. You deem to be producing too much smoke, you can be flagged off and uh, have to pull into the pits. Ryan Smith leads around the opening lap of the weekend here at Pembrey, sideways out of Hatchet's hairpin. Stuart Oliver in second place, the gap worth so close one and a half seconds at the end of lap number one. Through the hairpin they go. Division two uh, leaders keeping up with Division one. You can see there Jock Borthwick on the tail of Simon Faulkner. Jock Borthwick was on the podium in every Division one race at Brands Hatch. He was second or third in all five races. Didn't manage a win, though. He wants his first win here. Through the Senna corner. There's that uh, number three of Stephen Powell. New to Division 1 this year. You can see the wheel arch hanging off there. Bit of contact on the first corner as he tried to get down the inside. Three into one didn't work. Brian Smith increasing his lead over Stuart Oliver in number seven. Newell, the Yorkshireman, number 18 in third. Then Simon Reid in fourth. Powell is fifth. It's Tom O'Rourke, number 86, in uh, sixth position. The rest of the Division 1 trucks come through. Here comes Division 2. They've got ahead of uh, 92, Simon Faulkner. He was struggling a bit in qualifying as well. His first full season in the championship. And there's a black and orange flag out there on the start line as uh, Craig Reid runs right onto the grass there. Now, black and orange flag means uh, technical problem pull into the pits. That is for number 92. Yes, the black and orange flag, that's uh, the meatball flag, as the drivers call it, the black with the orange circle. That means technical problem pull into the pit, and I assume it's for Simon Fulton, number 92. I assume that's for black smoke. The uh, judges looking on at this event, so Simon Fulton is going to have to pit to uh, try and rectify that problem. We've lost Adam Vince into the pits as well, unfortunately, in the uh, number five. I think we may have lost Michael Oliver further back as well. I didn't see the number 12 come through. Bradley Smith under fire from Ricky Collins, truck racing veteran in the 95. Based in Halifax in Yorkshire, runs a heavy haulage company. Craig Reid behind them, number 68 with the uh, Iveco, last year's Division 2 champion, his first title in the sport. There's a green flag waving there coming out of Brooklyn's corner, so I assume 
that's where Michael Oliver has uh, come to grief. Yes, I think he's parked up on the outside. Ricky Collett there throwing the 95 around there as they come to Honda Corner towards the end of lap number three. Smith leads by nearly three and a half seconds now. This is the main battle further back. Bradley Smith in ninth place. He's got Ricky Collett on his tail. Here's our Division 2 leader with the uh, very Scottish livery white with the uh, tartan sunstrip there. Jock Borthwick from Luke Garrett. John Powell's up to third in the number six, the championship leader in the DAF. Then it's the number 16 of Brad Smith. Brad Smith and Bradley Smith, just to confuse everybody. Brad Smith, the uh, very experienced truck racer, has got Craig Evans, number 10, his second full season in the championship behind him, was third in Division 2 last season. So we lost a couple of trucks early on. Michael Oliver has pulled off at the top end of the circuit. Craig Reed on the tail of Ricky Collins here. Ten and a half minutes of this 15 minute crash still to go. You see the green flag from the marshal there in the background. That means out of the uh, danger area. There's yellow flags at Brooklands. I believe that's where Michael Oliver has come to a stop. Three trucks into the pits at the end of the last lap. Uh, Adam Bint, we uh, mentioned, had pulled in. There's Michael Oliver in the background. We've also lost Simon Faulkner. He was flagged in by the officials for black smoke. And John Bowler's pulled off as well in the number 14 into the pit lane. Bradley Smith, number 46, was racing trucks before he was old enough to drive a lorry on the road, would you believe? You only need uh, an ARDS uh, racing licence to race trucks, you don't need an HGV licence. Well, there's Ryan Smith, he's away and gone. That beautiful looking uh, Daimler Freightliner. Bodywork purchase from the Freightliner team based in the Czech Republic. Stuart Oliver in second. There's John Newell, the Yorkshireman, in third in truck number 18. Truck racing a few years ago after a long break. Great stuff so far. The leader's fairly well spread out. See the speed of Nottinghamshire's Ryan Smith. Six consecutive Division One championships. He was in a Mercedes Actros last season. Now in this uh, Daimler Freightliner. Over the line he goes. His gap was three and a half seconds to Stuart Oliver. What's it going to be this time? It's over five seconds now. Back in his usual dominant form. Newell third, Simon Reed is fourth, the rather battered MAN of number three, Stephen Powell is fifth. The move being made here by David Jenkins on the inside, down into the hairpin. Division two, John Borthwick continues to lead the way in truck number 32. We'll see what his gap is back to uh, Garrett. It's three and a half seconds. Luke Garrett in second. There's Michael Oliver parked up. He's been there for a couple of laps now. Picked up some damage, I think, on the first corner. Or maybe he's just looking at having a good look at trying to buy that motorhome. Looking impressive, isn't it, Park next to the circuit? Simon Reid up there in fourth. Back after a couple of years away from racing. Tom O'Rourke under fire from David Jenkins. Now, David had uh, a bit of a struggle in qualifying. He only qualified eighth. And he wants to be up and challenging Ryan Smith because uh, there's ten points between the two of them in the championship coming uh, into this weekend. Bradley Smith is third in the Division 1 standing, so he's quite far back as well in ninth. Stuart Oliver fourth, and John Newell rounding out the top five in the points. John Powell leads Jock Borthwick in the Division 2 points by uh, six points, with Brad Smith a further point back in third. Coming up to seven and a half minutes to go, so we're halfway through this first British Truck Racing Championship of the week, race of the weekend here at Convoy in Cumbri. A matter of uh, attractions off track this weekend, there's a truck show, even some tractor pulling, would you believe, making place off track here at Pembrey Circuit this weekend. David Jenkins closing here on Tom O'Rourke. Last lap was uh, a few tenths of a second slower. Smith goes through, still with the lead, Ryan Smith. Stuart Oliver in second, the two bonneted trucks out in Oliver, the all-time greats of British truck racing with 10 championships, a European title as well. John Newell in a safe third place, clear of Simon Reid in fourth. So no major changes among the front runners from the start of this first race of the weekend. Oh, still a long way to go yet. There's Bradley Smith. He's got a wheel arch coming loose as well as Ricky Collett attacks. Further ahead, Tom O'Rourke under intense pressure, intense pressure from the Digraph Transport of Morris Lubricants MAN of David Jenkins. Jenkins, a former champion as well. He and Ryan Smith, deadly rivals on track. He wants to get up and attack Smith for the lead. 
got to get past Tom O'Rourke in sixth place, first of all. Stephen Powell ahead of them, with the bodywork still flapping in the breeze. In the truck racing, MAN moves to uh, cover the line there. Tom O'Rourke, the Scotsman, boss of MV Commercial, one of the uh, sponsors of this championship for a number of seasons. Behind them, Mark Taylor in the uh, number 81. Flies to the inside, coming out of Dibeni, up to the crossing. Then the left-hander, and the short straight up towards Senna. Yet and Senna, I believe, still holds the outright uh, lap record here at Pembroke. The early 90s Formula One teams did used to test here. Never been a Welsh Grand Prix, though. Now Craig Reid on the tail of... Um, Bradley Smith, Ricky Collick's already gone through, sideways as ever in his MAN. Great to have Ricky Collick back, he uh, didn't race last year, had repeated engine problems with the MAN. Great Reed having a go to the inside, Bradley Smith seems to be struggling here. I think it's the first time that uh, young Bradley has raced at Pembroke. Still this battle for sixth position, Rook, Jenkins and Taylor. the way out of Hatchet's hair bit. Jenkins is certainly putting O'Rourke under pressure now. There goes Ryan Smith. There goes our Division 2 leader and he's still Jock Borthwick leading Division 2 looking for his first win of the season. He's about six seconds clear of um, Luke Garrett. Third is John Powell, then Craig Evans. There's the battle between Colin Smith and uh, Reed. Five trucks left running in uh, Division 2 now. Brad Smith in last place was lost. John Bowler and sideways there. Tom O'Rourke onto the grass goes the 86. Here comes Mark Taylor on the inside. David Jenkins just about holds him off. So Jenkins makes up the place. So does Taylor. I thought we were going to see Tom O'Rourke go spinning off into the grass there. He had a spectacular crash, of course, O'Rourke at uh, Bruxton a couple of years ago at the chicane. Avoided the barriers this time. Just, a, just under four minutes of this race to go. Here is Jenkins. Paced by Mark Taylor in the Taylor's Haulage, number 81, MAN. Further ahead of them, still Stephen Powell. Here's a replay of that uh, moment up at Brooklyn's. I don't think there was any contact there between the two. There's a bit of contact as Mark Taylor tried to come through. And uh, if Tom O'Rourke hadn't got the brakes hard on there, he would have been uh, heading for England, I think. Tom O'Rourke now under fire from this next battle. Ricky Collett behind him, then Brad Smith, Bradley Smith, and uh, then uh, 68 of Craig Reed. Here's Jock Bordwick, he's away and clear in Division 2. Lost a win in the opening race at Brands Hatch when he spun and threw its hairpin. He won't make that mistake this time. And still the battle raging on between Jenkins and Mark Taylor. David Jenkins seems a little down on power in uh, this race so far. He struggled in qualifying. Maybe just needs some more top-end speed out of the truck. He's got uh, time to have a look at it. The next truck race coming up later this afternoon. At the state of Stephen Powell's uh, MAN there. Up in Division 2 for the first time. This, in Division 1 for the first time this season. He's the 2020 Division 2 champion. But the two bonneted trucks at the front are away and gone. Smith leads. Ryan Smith leads Stuart Oliver by uh, over seven seconds now. There's a further gap of five and a half seconds back to John Newell in third, and he's nearly three seconds ahead of Simon Reed. So the leader's well spaced out. All the battles are further back in the order. The top five are pretty much set at the moment. The main battle for six is this fight between Jenkins and Taylor. Then Tom O'Rourke, who's got clear by a couple of lengths again ahead of Ricky Cockney. Two minutes of the race to go. Ricky Collins, so he's kicking up a bit of dirt there wheel onto the grass. There's our Division 2 leader, 32 of Jock Borthwick. Way ahead of uh, Luke Garrett now, over 10 seconds clear. There is the Orange MAN, the former two-time Division 2 champion, on his own in second in the division. Quickest lap of the race by Ryan Smith, 1 minute 10.4. Reed is now eight seconds 
for Flying Riot. Here he comes. One minute 20 left to go. So he should be coming round to start his final lap this time, Ryan Smith. Give it Oliver in second. Two laps to go, I make it in this first truck race of the weekend. Senior top five are fairly well spaced out. Here comes the battle for sixth place. Mark Taylor still all over the rear axle of uh, Mark Taylor. And it's four of them together with Tom O'Rourke having dropped back into the clutches. Ricky Collins. The leader coming up to lap. Brad Smith in the number 16, the Midland Truck Breakers and uh, Unity Recovery sponsored uh, number 16, the green coloured truck. Colour, isn't it? Reminds me of the uh, livery used by Kurt Goranson in the early days of his uh, Q8 livery Volvos before he went into the red and white um, of international diesel service. Still this fight paging on. Mark Taylor determined to get past David Jenkins. Jenkins is struggling with that man. <laughs> Taylor's haulage truck on his tail. The clock about to count down to zero, so it's going to be checkered flag this time for Flying Ryan. Starting his weekend as he means to go on. And a couple of slip ups that's uh, Brands Hatch in the season opener. Lost one win when he uh, tripped over a back marker on the last corner and allowed uh, David Jenkins to go through. No problem this time though. Comes down towards Carter's curve, then up to Honda corner for the final time. Stuart Oliver safe in second place. It's going to be a win for Flying Ryan. The chequered flag is out. Ryan Smith takes the win ahead of Stuart Oliver. Don Newell will come over for third place. And Simon Reid in fourth. Stephen Powell, despite that bit of flapping bodywork, will take fifth position. Is David Jenkins going to hang on? Yes, he is. Six ahead of Mark Taylor. Tom O'Rourke, after that grassy moment, takes eighth. Ninth is Rick Collins. Tenth for Brad, Bradley Smith. Eleventh it is Craig Reed. Next home, we should have our Division Two race winner. It's going to be a first win of the season for number 32. A very pleased Jock Borthwick comes in to take the win. Luke Garrett will come over in second place. And the air horn sound on the slowdown lap. Third in Division 2 will be the championship leader, John Powell, but only just he's got Craig Reed all over the back of him, uh, Craig Evans rather, all over the back of him there as they come over the line. Brad Smith a lap down, waiting for finishers. Well, we barely saw him during that race, he was so far ahead. Flying Ryan Smith takes the victory, starting as he needs to go on here at Pembroke. Confirm the results uh, in just a moment. Ryan Smith, the winner by nearly eight and a half seconds ahead of Stuart Oliver at the line with John Newell completing the podium another five and a half seconds back. Fourth place went to Simon Reid ahead of Stephen Powell. Then the first of the main battles, David Jenkins holding off for Mark Taylor Jenkins. I think we'll be a bit disappointed with sixth position. Tom O'Rourke sliding back to eighth ahead of uh, Ricky Collett. Bradley Smith completing the top ten ahead of Craig Reid. And then the Division Two is headed home by a very pleased Jock Borthwick for his first win of the season. Nearly 11 seconds clear of Luke Garrett in second. John Powell third in Division Two, uh, just ahead at the line of Craig Evans. The only other finisher was Brad Smith in the number 16, a lap down, and we lost uh, into the pits. John Bowler, Simon Faulkner was flagged off, uh, we believed due to excess smoke, Adam Binton early retirement, and we lost Michael Oliver early on as well. So we can now hand down to Park Fanning.
That is so sticky, isn't it? That is ridiculous. The amount of heat you get in these tyres, and they just come in, and look at all this gravel. Want anything for your garden? They'll be charging us for that when we leave Pembury. Right, fantastic first race of the weekend here at Pembury Circuit, and we're down here again in Park Ferme now, where I'm joined by Jock Borthwick, first place in Division 2. Uh, let's just uh, wander over and have a word with him. The Flying Scotsman, come over here. Jock, uh, mass congratulations Thank on you. your uh, podium finish Thanks. first place. Uh, it, it seemed like a quite uh, delicate, gentle, nice, enjoyable race for you there. It was actually, yeah. After I got away, I got a good start. I think looking some of the boys was obviously fighting to let, let me get away and uh, pushed for maybe three, four laps and then I just kept the gap and set it away. So, no, it was good. Usually you're desperate in the flag coming out of the end, but there I just felt it could have went round all day at that pace. I was comfortable, so it was nice. Enjoyed it. That, well, that's good. I mean, it looked like you enjoyed it. I mean, the, the thing with Pembury Circuit is it looks like when they start spreading out, that's it done for. With your experience of the track, obviously you've been here testing, you've been here racing a few times now. Um, do, do you think there is still opportunity for overtakes? Oh, yeah, definitely. But when you break that gap to the, the, the 50 metres or so, you can just gauge it and run it. But when it's close, there's plenty of opportunities to overtake uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so there's still a bit of battle to be had. Now, uh, with regards to uh, the reverse grid, we'll be going into the second race today in a slightly different order to normal. Right, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, see, none Can of us... Tell us where I'm going? Yeah, yeah, OK, I'll tell you what, we'll just wait and see where you end up on the starting grid and we'll judge it from there. Is that all right? That'll do me. Fantastic. <laughs> right, now, I've got some new Tonix products to, uh, to, to, to go over with you shortly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got a Tonix Caramel Cream, which is like a slightly more like a blue ribbon in England, just to let you all know out there. Okay. Other biscuits are available. It'll not be blue. It's not blue, no, no, no it's tartan. Yeah, yeah, you good. You bite into uh, it. Good. Yeah, 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 brilliant. Well, come on, bring some over in a bit. You do that. We're yeah. a canny iron brew. Okay. Oh, iron brew. Right, right. Let's go and find some more drivers now down here in Park Ferme, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Oh, you want to keep going? Mate, love you. Cheers, mate. We're talk talking about biscuits, and Ewan starts waving at me. Like live television, ladies and gentlemen. It's the way it goes. Uh, right then, let's uh, move forward down the pack. Oh, actually, can we find him? Is he about? Yes, here he is. We'll just we'll just let the diesel fumes dissipate. Look at this this, this image of a of a team as one, ladies and gentlemen. The hard work has paid off, and they're all just well dossing. I suppose would be a good word for it. Uh, Ryan Smith, fantastic race. Let me shake your hand. Um, first place, uh, I think, uh, a little expected. Uh, yeah, just just get the first one underway, get the fastest lap early for the extra point, and uh, bring it home safe. Save the truck for race two. Um, go into race two now, pretty confident and uh, yeah, quite delighted. Yeah. So we were just talking to Jock, of course, both of you front runners in your in comparative divisions. Is there a situation where once you've got that gap, you just calm it down a bit? And, and what, what, where do you make that decision during the race? After about lap two, I said to Arnie, I'm just going to back it down a bit because I seen I was pulling a second and a half a lap or something. I'd already got the fastest lap and I just backed it down from there. And then, of course, when you get a lead like seven seconds, you start hearing noises and the engine's making a noise and the, the, <laughs> just certain things, it's just racing. And, and no, we, we're delighted, save the truck for race two. I don't want to give them, the mechanics have worked, the whole team have worked so hard on Friday with the problems we had. They didn't finish till one, two o'clock in the morning, up at six. So it'll be nice tonight, if there's not many changes for them to make, going in tomorrow and uh, uh, starting the day off afresh. Starting the day off afresh, that sounds good. So a relatively relaxed evening. Uh, team, gather round for me a moment. Come on, Arne, hey, hi, hi. Gang signs from Horny there. Um, we've got the gang here and they've been well, with Ryan. Wasn't for... they shotgun signs from Horny there? Yeah, yeah, I, think, I don't want to know. We're, we're, we're live, we're not, we're not going to go there. Um, but yeah, so the, these are the, the guys, the core uh, team that have been with Ryan Smith now for a couple of years. Arnie himself has uh, made, what, well, built these trucks with Ryan over the last couple of years from the ground up, really, haven't you, Arnie? Yeah, from the ground up, yeah. And uh, what kind of goes into building a truck like this? Where do you even start? Obviously from the ground. But yeah, yeah there's a lot of hard work, um, long hours, just maintaining them. It's just, it's endless really. But and, really and, and I've heard Ryan might actually pay you this year as well. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> we'll try. We'll just all see. One seventh time. One, one, one seventh championship, and we'll send him an invoice. Is that what it is? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Right, thanks very much, guys. That's all down here. We've got time for one more. Oh, we've got one time for one more. My PA with the battery pack has got time for one more driver. Let's, let's zigzag, zigzag through and see who we can find. 
It's when we find out they're all just missing. Ah, here we go, here we go. Fantastic. Wireless mics this time, ladies and gentlemen. It's all action. John Newell, come, come hither. Come hither. How are we? Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, fantastic. Decent starts to the weekend for you? Yeah, not too bad. I'd like to have been a bit closer, but we'll settle for that to start with. Did you see much of the tussle at the first corner? I know Pembury is traditionally quite a difficult first corner. Uh, the fact we got round with any, without any red flags is a bit of a bonus. Yeah, it certainly is, because there's usually always something what goes off, but it was pretty clean, I think, to be honest with you. It was, well, it was at the front. I don't know what we're going off behind. Yeah, but it, it's a little bit of bump and tickle, but what, what are you going to do? Rubbing's racing, right? It certainly is. We just keep going and get ready for the next one. Now, uh, obviously, we're, we're walking round looking at a lot of gravel stuck to tyres. The, the conditions are epic for the first five or ten minutes aren't they at the moment but the heat really starts to affect us uh, a lot later in the race yeah as soon as you get into about lap five it just falls off edge of a cliff everybody drops a second second and a half a lap yeah as i say you can see that on tsl timing if you're not watching that by the way you can get that live on your phones whilst you're watching the stream at home and keep track of all the lap times uh, and yeah you did notice the entire pack really start to, to lose it nearer the end of the race there is there anything you can do particularly that, that will improve that or is that just the case across the board no it's just a case across the board it's same for everybody so that's what it is well at least it's fair well uh, congratulations bit of silverware to hand out to you shortly sir thank we'll you see you much. over at the stage Cheers, thank you. right i think that's uh we're still one more my goodness are you doing anything else today ladies and gentlemen right okay F follow follow me let's let's go and have a look yes that's thanks good good you good yes it's fantastic having assistance Hello. mr reed how are we all right yeah good good not bad not bad yeah we're uh, just uh, getting to grips with it. It's a whole new, uh, what's it, with it, coming to it with a new truck. Um, well, an old but new truck coming here. It's um, it's definitely um, testing. You go, what, what basically I was faster last year in Division 2. Yeah. Um, but you've got, I've just got to get into the, the swing of things with the truck base. Well, that, that brings up a very interesting point. So for those at home that don't know, uh, Craig Reid obviously won the Division 2 championship last year. Um, and then this year, like you say, same truck, slight yeah. modifications and adjustments yeah. that brings you into Division 1. What actually yeah. goes into changing a Div 2 truck to Div 1? Uh, quite a bit to most with you. I've, I've, uh, I've altered all the subframe, all of the, obviously the, the back axles, uh, what we call like a lightweight back axle. Uh, um, even down to the hubs, everything. Uh, the front axle has obviously got more degree on, on it as well. You change the dampers. I, I'm actually still on my Division 2 dampers at the minute. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot that goes into it, and there's a lot of, um, you know, weight. W weight is the key. And, and to most of you, on these GT tyres, the issue, I didn't have any issues last year, but I was running a different combination with Goodyear's on the back. But the GTs, um, I think it's all about the tyre management as well now with the GTs but it's good that we're all on an even playing field because if you're making a mistake it's you, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah exactly so, yeah if there's an issue then someone's yeah, not yeah. doing something right rather than yeah because everyone's got the same tyres which is, which is great to hear yeah. so uh, a few modifications more to, to make this season yeah. and hopefully you uh, have hopefully a better I'll, better yeah. end to the weekend. I just, yeah I just need to, to actually be here for me the, the, it's all about the challenge I want the challenge to move forward and that when, when with the Division 2 is great it's a, it's a great place to start but I'm, I'm happy to be, I, to be honest with you, I would sooner be at the back of Division 1 <laughs> fighting, <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean? So that, 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 that's what I'm all about. Yes, yeah, you did definitely dominate Division 2, yes, so yeah, a lot yeah, more yeah, of a yeah. challenge now. Yeah, this is it, the, 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 to most of you, one little mistake and you're done. And that's all I did then. I got two. I got, I got past, two, two, I got past uh, Ricky and, and Bradley, you know, great driving, great racing, and then I chucked it away. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> 